changes. Hey, what's up, Rockstars? Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Uh, day after Labor Day, today's September 3rd, uh, Tuesday, 2019. Just got done dropping off a bunch of packages um, that had to go out today. And uh, basically, long story short, we missed our pickup. Uh, he was able to grab some of them, but we didn't have them all ready. So I uh, had to go do that. But a lot of people asked me our bread and butter, which is Amazon FBA side of things, um, which I never have to drop off, of course, because they're at the warehouse, uh, Amazon's warehouse, is video games, video game systems, video games, handhelds, things like that. I've done videos talking about them before, but I wanted to go ahead and, uh, and make a video giving you guys an idea of some of the most expensive games just for fun, and also some of the most common profitable games that you should look for and what types you should look for, and uh, the types that we sell the most often, the ones that we don't sell, ones that that you shouldn't buy and uh, I wanted to cover that because a lot of you guys are interested in books you're interested in video games you're interested in things you can sell Amazon and Amazon FBA specifically and video games are a really really good item so I'm gonna go ahead and cover uh, over on my computer which I'll jump over and do for you right now some of those video games that you should uh, definitely be on the lookout for there's thousands of games so of course this isn't gonna be all-inclusive but I also have this entire list of video game and video game systems as part of of my sourcing guides. It's something if you've never bought or sold them and if you don't know anything about them that you should definitely start keeping an eye out. They're good at yard sales, garage sales, pawn shops, sometimes at thrift stores, estate sales for sure. You find them everywhere. Flea markets 100%. One of my favorite YouTubers actually finds them at flea markets all the time. Um, so make sure that you are keeping an eye out for these video games, these handheld systems, Game Boys, Nintendo DSs, all that type of stuff is such good profits and it sells like this. If you don't know anything about them or you don't know what to look for besides just this video and the little bit I'm going to cover, make sure you pick up those guides. They're down below. Uh, really great price for you. Uh, all 11 guides, all of them with 700 items. Not only do they cover video games and systems and other electronics, they cover clothes and shoes and hard goods and all kinds of collectibles and different things that you might be interested in. Things you would never know to buy and sell for profit. I guarantee you there's something on that list, probably dozens of some things that you don't know about um, that you should be buying and selling that you're probably passing on by and you're passing hundreds of dollars in profit. So spend a couple bucks and get yourself extra hundreds of dollars in profits every month. It's down below the link. Let's go over to my computer. Let's check out video games and hopefully this helps some of you expand your knowledge into the video game and electronics world. All right, so welcome over to my computer, guys. And I want to take a minute to show you all of the most profitable, common, and best video games and video game series that we sell all the time on Amazon and also on eBay. Now, some of you will be ungated for some of these on Amazon. Some of you will not be. It depends on your account. But feel free to search and scan and also request approval because some of them will give you automatic approval. Some of them won't. Um, and sometimes you can sell a game on one platform and not the other platform. So keep that in mind. I'll give you a great example. The first one we're on is Grand Theft Auto V. For some reason, Rockstar Games, which is the maker of that game, no affiliation, uh, will not let me sell it on Xbox One, but I can sell it on every other platform, which is really odd, even on Xbox 360, just not Xbox One. So I don't know what's up with that, but it's just kind of weird. Okay, so Grand Theft Auto V is a hugely popular um, video game series. It's been out for many years. It's on uh, PS1, PS2, PS3. Uh, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox, Xbox 360, all those systems, even on the computer. And uh, it started with Grand Theft Auto, then Grand Theft Auto 2 II and 3, and then they had a couple of ones like San Andreas and Vice City and uh, China Wars, Chinatown Wars, and then Grand Theft Auto 5 is the newest one. Now, this came out in 2013, six years old. You might think that's really old, and it kind of is, but this game usually takes Rockstar multiple years to develop. Grand Theft Auto 6 will be out eventually one day, but it could be 2020, 2021. It takes them a long time. This game is a huge game, but it was super popular. Obviously, it's a very mature MA game, 17 plus. There's killing, there's robbery, there's Grand Theft. Uh, there's everything you can imagine. You know, um, There's adult material, just anything and everything. This is not for a kid, but it was a super popular game. This game at six years old. Now, when this game came out, it was 60 bucks. I bought this game brand new in 2013. I remember because we lived back in our old condo six years ago, just before I purchased this house, which I've had six years now this Christmas. And um, this game was $60 and it's still selling used six years later. 
The cheapest one is at twenty, almost twenty five dollars. Twenty nine. Look, brand new at half the price that it sold for six years ago. Fulfilled by Amazon. Brand new, brand new, brand new. And there you go. You can still get twenty five dollars for this game used. And there are other listings that you could put it on. Um, if you scroll back one and you come down here to uh, used, here's some more. One hundred eleven listings for used listings you can see all these used ones look 2585 the cheapest one all the way into the 30s and up so this game's still worth half of what it was worth six years ago and the reason is this game has not been updated it is the newest one anybody that wants to play a grand theft auto game will have to play this one is the newest and it's just an amazing big huge world of a game so always look for the grand theft auto titles um, if you can buy them for under five bucks or under 10 bucks, they're typically profitable. You'll have to check the older ones. PS1, PS2, not so much, but all of the newer ones will typically do pretty well. Okay, the second one. Now, we all remember Zelda, right? The Legend of Zelda, the original NES uh, through Super NES. Uh, these games, again, they're $20 to $25 games. This is the gold cart one. Um, if you look for uh, Link 2, which was probably my favorite one, um, for the NES, and if we click on here and go through uh, Link 2 NES, The Adventures of Link, Zelda, The Adventures of Link, this one did not do as well as the other one. So you can see this one's starting at $14 and $15. So a little bit less. You'll have to pay cheap for this one. I love this one. Keith is going to disagree with me and tell me this one's terrible. But Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link was one of my favorites. Uh, so always look for Zelda games. Um, the new Nintendo uh, Switch, uh, the Wii U's, those kind of things, the, the Link and Zelda games on those, they also do well. If you look up Zelda and you do it uh, for the Nintendo Switch, we can look that uh, Zelda Link's Awakening and the Breath of Wild. Look, still $35 game on Nintendo Wii U. Link's Awakening uh, for Nintendo Switch. Uh, you can see the Breath of the Wild uh, bre uh, starter pack at 40, 46. Uh, the Hyrule Warriors Edition still at 33.87 for Switch. So all these kind of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time still does well if I remember correctly. Um, if we do um, Ocarina of Time, which is like a 3DS game, uh, that one's still at 15 and up, probably 16 or 17 with shipping. Actually, it's at 19 with shipping. So the Ocarina of Time 3D for 3DS. Uh, even those handheld games do really, really well. So always look for Zelda stuff. All right, Pokemon, probably one of the most profitable games. Now, a word, word of warning with Pokemon. They're heavily faked. The 3DS, DS, and the Game Boy Advance Pokemon games are heavily faked. The older, original Game Boy ones are faked, but not as often. The newer... Um, Pokemon games sometimes. So it's about 50-50. But those Game Boy Advanced ones and those DS ones were really, really bad. And that's why a lot of them have been gated on Amazon. It's about 50-50 if I can sell them on Amazon. I used to be able to sell most of the Pokemon games. And by no fault of my own, Amazon started gating Pokemon games left and right for everybody. So whenever you search for a Pokemon game, whether it's uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Fire, Blue, Yellow Edition, Heart Gold Edition, um, Moon, Sun, all all those some of there's like 20 pokemon games some of them are gated and some of them are not the old nintendo 64 like pokemon stadium and that they're typically open so just have to check on those if you can't sell them on amazon then you have to price them for ebay so pokemon heart gold uh this is a particularly expensive one this one's worth 60 65 bucks and up um some of the other ones if you find them like if we do a pokemon sapphire uh and i can't spell but pokemon sapphire edition for um like the 3DS, if we open this one, Alpha Sapphire, this one's at 26 and up, 27, 28 and up. Uh, this one is typically gated. Uh, I can't usually sell this one. So uh, this one would go on eBay, but they're usually similar prices or within a dollar or two. Final Fantasy, one of my favorite video game series of all time. Final Fantasy 3 for the original Super Nintendo system is a $50 to $60 game. Here you can see it used. Uh, some of the PlayStation games, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 games, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, uh, Final Fantasy Origins and Tactics, those are all going to be about $15 games, $20 games. The new Final Fantasy 15 on the PlayStation 4 was kind of a flop. I own it. Uh, I paid 60 bucks for it brand new when it came out. It's probably only worth about 10 to $15 now. It's been out about two years, if I remember right. Um, not the best game, but Final Fantasy always sells, so make sure you buy right. Mario, our favorite friend, friend Mario from the original NES and Super NES system. Super Mario World was one of my favorites. Everyone loved that one. On the original SNES, it's about a $17, $18 game on up through the 20s and 22s, depending on the condition and what you have with it. If you have a case, 
obviously more. There are tons of other games if we look at Mario World 3. And also the Mario Makers for the new Wii. But if we look at Mario World 3 for uh, something like uh, the Super NES, if we pull that up, and we find Yoshi's Yoshi's Island, by the way, is, is a great purchase. So if we look at uh, Super Mario World 3, did I type that in? Mario Mario 3? Mario 3 for Super NES. It's not finding it. Uh, not really sure why. Here we go. Uh, renewed. Oh, was that on regular NES? That might be why. That was regular NES, I think. Yeah, here we go. So this game, particularly, uh, you know, depending on the condition, uh, typically, so it's starting at 13 and a half. Usually this is about 15 to $20 game. So you have to pay one, two, three dollars, but you can find these at yard sales, estate sales, couple bucks. Um, you know, and the idea is that you find 10 or 15 games at a pawn shop for two to three dollars each, and you're going to sell them for 15 to 20 each. So you find 10 games, you, you buy them for 25 bucks, and hopefully you're going to sell them for, you know, 150 to $200, uh, in, in pocket. Mario Kart, the follow-up to Mario, always a great buy. Mario Kart 8 for Nintendo Wii U. We own this. Uh, this game's about $22 and up. Uh, again, you find it for 5 bucks or less, you're in business because you can sell it for $22, $24. Uh, the Mario Kart for Nintendo Switch is even more. If you look up uh, Mario Kart for Switch, this game's probably 30 and up, if I had to guess. Um, let's go ahead and uh, search for it. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, $39 and up. So, and it's probably got shipping attached to it. Yes. So this is a $43 game. Again, you could pay $10, $15 for this and still do okay. All right. Smash Brothers. Now this is the combination, if you've never heard it, where you take all the characters, there'll be like a Zelda and a Mario and a Wario and all these different uh, mixed characters. Kirby's in there usually. $27 game from the Nintendo 64. There's a ton of different Smash Brothers. There's about three or four different ones. Uh, the Nintendo Wii had one that was not as a success as it was on the 64. So that game's going to only be like 10 to 15 on the Nintendo Wii if you're lucky. All right, Kingdom Hearts, another one of my favorite um, video game series. There's about six or seven of these. There's Kingdom Hearts 1, 1.5, 2.5. Kingdom Hearts 3 just came out this past beginning of the year. Um, I own it, and it is a very good game. Me and Keith played this and uh, individually, obviously. But uh, this is about a $33 to $35 game. The deluxe editions that have all the the, the different uh, series in it that have 1, 2, 1.5, 2.5, 3 all together will be you know like a $40, $50 game. So make sure you pay attention for those. Kingdom Hearts, you get to play uh, – Sora, who is a, a character, a, a cartoon character, and he gets help from Goofy and Donald and Pluto and all the different uh, Disney characters. There's levels with Tarzan and levels with the Disney princesses, and you go through all these different worlds, through Hercules' world and through every little, you know, through the Little Mermaid's world, and you get to uh, to experience Disney through world-by-world world play. It's a great game. If, if you never uh, played it or seen Kingdom Hearts, do a YouTube search for Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, and you'll see what I mean. All right, one of another of my favorite series, Mega Man. Now, this game drives us all nuts because you can't beat the levels, but uh, Mega Man X on the Super NES was a $20, $25 game and up. Any of the other Mega Mans from the original Nintendo, Mega Man from some of the newer ones uh, are definitely worth money. The original Mega Man X7 is like a $100 game. Mega Man 11 for the PlayStation 4 is still selling for about $15 to $20 typically. Um, the Legacy X collection is worth more. Here's the Mega Man uh, 11 on PlayStation 4, which is a great game. I own this digitally on my PS4. It's starting at about 13 and change. Uh, 15 is probably fair on it. A lot of fulfilled by Amazon editions of it, uh, but it's a fantastic game. I love Mega Man um, in general, and once you put it over to the PlayStation 4 graphics, I mean, it looks fantastic. It is fantastic, and uh, you get a great gameplay, and uh, you got to get good at it. You got to be good at those controls and hand-eye coordination. So Mega Man, another one of those awesome titles finally good old spyro we all know spyro from the original uh here he is reignited uh on ps4 the trilogy this game about 27 28 and up spyro did really well if you look up the uh, original spyro ps1 game if we scroll back here and take a look spyro the dragon uh for the original playstation and Spyro Ripto's Rage, and finally Spyro Year of the Dragon. So back in the day, they did really, really well. Now they're not worth so much. Uh, these games have come way down. This one's the only $10 game. 
look, five, eight, uh, nine, nine ninety eight, just shy of ten dollars. So Spyro not going to do so well on the older versions of his video games. Um, I don't think any of them, even Year of the Dragons, not good. But the trilogy, again, that's still a thirty, thirty five dollar game if you happen upon that. The Spyro Collector's Edition for PS One. Now that one is worth a lot because it comes with all the games. It comes with uh, all three of the Spyro editions. So you know they're ten, fifteen dollar games on their own. But if you can get all three in the uh, Collector's Edition, which is really, really hard to find, um, you will get fifty, sixty bucks. And up for that one. And um, the Crash Bandicoot is another one that you guys can look for. Crash never does too well, though. Um, and the Wii uh, Legend of Spyro game is not so uh, good either. And the Legend of Spyro uh, Dawn of the Dragon for PS2 is the other one I would recommend you getting. Because this game was $30 last I checked. Uh, this is the PS2 edition. Yes, thirty, almost 35 now. Uh, that's Legend of Spyro Dawn of Dragon PS2. So Spyro, our good friend Spyro the Dragon. Some games do well. PS1's not so much. Look for the PS2 and the PS4. Uh, other than that, uh, you guys have 10 here, and they will all sell on eBay just as well as Amazon. So if you're not an Amazon seller, uh, no worries. Go on eBay, check the price. It's going to be within a few dollars. Some of them are the same. Some are more. Some are less. Uh, you have to price check those. But video games, um, absolutely included. Uh, all of the video game systems are included in my sourcing guides and bolo list down below the link is below pick it up it's uh 25 dollars on its own or you can grab it as part of the complete training package and you will basically uh save a bunch of money by doing that so check those two links out below in the descriptions of what all you get uh, i put down every video game system that i could think of that we sell everything from game cubes all the playstations all the xboxes the nintendos the wii's the segas the handhelds the 3ds's the ds's all of them are included in that guide as part of the electronics section. Uh, again, there's over 700 items. There's also clothing, shoes, iPods, iPads, computers, antiques, collectibles. There's all kinds of things on those lists, and they're both linked below. I'll put them in the first two links. So enjoy this video. Uh, get out there. Find some video games. Check your yard sales. Check your estate sales. Check your flea markets. And uh, if you happen upon any video games or any flips that you do and you make some money on, please comment below. Let me know what you bought, what you sold how much money you made or anything else you feel like commenting. And as always, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It's real important that you hit that button, hit that blue thumb just below the video. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel for more great top selling items to make money on eBay, Amazon, and Poshmark, hit the subscribe button, turn the notices on, and you will be updated every time I put out a new video. Thanks guys. And I'll see you next time.